Hello and welcome to a new PYB. As you can tell, we've got a intro, which was your business connecting the dots. We're moving forward, everybody. That was created by Daniel Futurman, who's one of the level four cadets. He's an amazing guy. If you can say thank you so much, you can tag him on the thread. He knows I really appreciate it. That was great. David Stickney did the original one, which we've just moved in the direction now of the connecting the dots. And I really appreciate everything that David's done for PYV as well over the years. Joined by Travis. Hello, Travis. Travis is there. And hello, hello. Hello, hello. So we're going to have a chat. That's what we're going to do. We're, we've got some um, tips. We've got some shout outs. I can see Mary and Greg and Steve and Dave. So we've got the comment tracker there. So if you want to comment, that's cool. We're going to run for half an hour. Maybe 20 minutes. You never know. But this... The information I'm about to give you may mean that I don't give the same information in the private community that we have. So I, I just want to set the scene and just be open about everything that's going on and you'll understand the ethos and so on. Starting with the Plus Your Business Local Consultant course. We're going to start on Monday. The community is going to open its doors on Monday, maybe Sunday night, probably Monday. We're going to do the first session if you signed up for that course or you're, you're ready to sign up, we haven't got the registration fully done yet, but if you're ready to sign up, it's going to be 11 a.m. on Tuesday is the first Hangout on Air, 11 a.m. PST, California time. And then we're going to run on that time slot, certainly for the four weeks after that. So it'll be the Tuesday. For those of you that go, what's this course? If somebody could get the thread that's on my profile and drop it into the event thread, what we're doing is creating a program that will help people become a local consultant. But if you're a brand page and you want to learn more about how to optimize for local, it's going to benefit you as well. Now, in time, we may create a specific product just for brand pages, but we'll, we'll leave that for today. But, well, we have, in fact, for brand pages, I have, but maybe for local pages as well. But the main thing is that we've got this PYB local consultant course. And because we want to be different, and I'm going to talk to you about this as well, it's donation only. It's donation. That's the option. So the price point, we were going to sell it at 1500 and in fact, we have sold places at $1,500. But I'm opening up for donations. Because two reasons. One of which is there's a need in the world to help businesses get their listings sorted. And I've watched this now for well, two years. And since Google My Business launched last year, google.com forward slash business. We can see something happening. Hello, Pan. Hello, Shell. Hello, Karen. Hello, Ben. We can see something happening in the market. Okay. Christmas time, I made one prediction on Social Media Examiner. And I don't like making predictions because it's like, you know. But I said reviews would be big this year. Google then essentially gamified the review system, which is for the reviewers. So that encourages them to go out and to leave reviews and to get points and you've got levels and you've got these things going on for reviewers. Right. PYB Local Consultant Course helps the businesses get into a place which enables the reviews to happen, enables the culture of people replying and people dealing with issues if they are because people can change the reviews after. You, can, you know, you can build relationships, you can, you can say thank you, you can do these things. We want that to be the culture of these businesses. Now, to do that, we could have said, right, we're going to continue and we just sell the program and we'll sell a number of places, or we can open it up for donations, and potentially, now we may have 50, 60, 70, 100 people that go through the original course. The course will then be available on the site, all being well, depends on the donations and depends on you know, costs and everything else, but all being well, we'll have the course available on the site. Why not have 1,000 people? that can create their own business, they can do it on a donation basis, in a local currency that may be $10, it may be $10 a month, it may be they decide. The more that we have in PYB, the more that we can do. Nick Rink and Priya Tranda are the supporters on, on this. They're the, going to be my, my co-presenters, co-trainers in the session, because they know a lot more hands-on bits than I do around some of the details of, of Google Local. But I have done a lot of setup myself. And the whole Brazil project was about three months going down that rabbit hole. So we've learned a lot. We can give you a lot. 
Then we have two people, Linda, I'm going to say it's Linda Burkett, and Bob. Linda's going to come in and she's going to do text-based um, answers, question answers on certain specific things that she's got a speciality in, which is wonderful. So we discussed that today, so thank you. And also Mike Blumenthal, who's amazing on, on, on local stuff, we all know. But he's also got some kit you may not know about, some reputation management type software. So he's going to come in and present on that. And there's other people I'm speaking with as well. And there's other people about different software. And we're starting to look at how to open this up. OK. So the vision is why don't we train up without trying to, to monetize. It's a very web 2.0 thing, which somebody told me about five years ago, which is just build the base. So if we have PYB local certified consultants that are out there, instead of saying, well, you're going to you know, almost like pay a franchise and you're going to have this territory, why don't we just open up and find out who's active? And from there, let's see. Hello, Nikki. I can see you excited. Um, let's see what can happen. We were going to create some uh, tech ourselves, a relation to specifically into reviews and text-based stuff. There's a lot out there. I've been researching. I found lots of things. So I'm going to be bringing that into the community as well and saying you've got all of these options. And it depends on the vertical, it depends on you, and so on. So the vision, which is always the easy bit, doing it, is if there were 100, 200, 500, 1,000 consultants out there, then we are bridging between the reviewers and the businesses that are getting reviewed, and we're helping those businesses, which I think is a good service for people. People have their own business. They're independent. We're going we're gonna to certify, but they're independent. And I think from where we are, in order to, to reach out far enough, it needs to be done like that. So that's the first bit for you. And thanks so much to Nick and to Priya. We've been working on this for a while. And I've got to give it a, a, a shout out um, uh, the, as well. Well, I'll, I'll wait on the shout outs. But the, the aim is to test this donation based model for courses. That's the first thing. So let's now move to something which came up. I think it's Christine Cope on one of the threads. And I know, and you haven't met Annette. And Patty, you can tag Patty, Patty. And I never be able to say this, Annette, but she's awesome. We met in Phoenix. I'm, what I'm trying to do is bring the community together again a lot more when we start to get focused on things that you have interest in. So we've got different projects going on. We've got this Plus Your Business project. We've also got a Plus Your Life project going on. So some of you know about that. There's going to be an announcement again on that a bit later today, but public. Okay. So we're bringing people together and we're starting to move forward. I want, I want some of the ethos that we've got in a small group to spread out. And I spoke to lots of people about this. In the early days, the people were using Hangouts for just casual conversations a lot more. We used to have Hangout weekends, and we'd have all of this sort of stuff going on. And I feel that we've become very thread-based. I feel we've become very conversation community-based. And I want to, and even events, this great, and it's lovely to see Johan and Ursula and, and everyone else, but getting into the Hangouts transforms the relationships. So we're looking at ways to bring all of that back as well. But it all takes time, effort, energy, and there are costs. So one of the things we're looking at with, from the PYB local consultant course, the more supported that is, the more encouraged I'm going to be to start opening up other things and go from there. Now, this is the last bit before I come, come to try this. There's always been a structure that people won't necessarily know. So this is the structure of how, how things have been done so far. Plus your life launched. And it's got a community and it's got a page. Plus your business then launched in the, in the May and that started with the community. So you've got plus your life and plus your business. That's how it's always been. There's the two main things. We've got the UK community as well, but that's kind of off over there. In part. But you've got plus your life and plus your business. There was always something that was going to sit on top of it. And we're moving in the direction now that that's what's going to emerge. And I'm going to have announcements around that this for, for people in the, in the private community. The private community is going to be what well, is for people who are the most supportive towards PYB announcements on, on that. So, but this thing that sits above plus your life and plus your business is what this has been about all along, which is called Camoogle, which is C-O-N-N, which is community, and Google.com. Now, we've got some tech that we've built. So if you go to Camoogle.com, you see that we, we've got an extension, like demo it and, and so on. But... There's things that I want to build and would want to give to the community 
that I think we can do in the short space of time. I've got development team waiting, and I've got things going on. So Camoogle is going to potentially bring us together and start to do extra things, because I can help you connect the dots, get the reference there, back to the start, connect the dots, so much easier if people are hanging out more and if we've got more structure and if we start to create a virtual business environment online. And it's not we're not that far away from being able to do it, but it requires more people to be involved. So we're getting to a point now that we're scaling. So if everybody's wondering, why is Martin over on Facebook? Why is he over on Facebook? That was a, that was a, a Southwest accent for those. That, Greg, that was for you. Um, we need to reach out. We were active on Twitter, but I don't tend to reply much from Rora. Facebook, there's an audience over there. I want that bunch to know what we're doing because we've got something really amazing going on over here. And I think there's a lot of people who would love to be involved, and when they are involved and they sense it and they feel it, they go, wow, it is cool. This tech's great. So that's why I'm starting to build out on these in these other places and be a lot more present and a lot more open and a lot more accessible really, because we need to reach. Travis Taylor. Yes, sir. How are we doing, Martin? Doing all right. Doing all right. It's been, it's, been a, it's been a lot. See, Travis and I have been on a journey together as well. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it has been a journey. In fact, it, and it's, still, it's still, still moving forward. It is still moving forward. But the last day... And, and, and George Cohen and Marilyn Ritter have been great. I mean, we, we were all spent time. There's so many people. I met with Karen the other day at, at, at an event um, just down south. Everyone's nice. a, this is great. Everyone's part of the journey, part of the narrative. And myself and, and Travis, because this is where the Plus Your Life and Plus Your Business bits come together. We're on Plus Your Business, so we're not going to go into too much on the Plus Your Life. But it's about people. It's about relationships. It's about the personal connections as well as it's about the business system sides of things. Now it's funny, Chris Brogan sent out a post today or um, an email today for those that saw it and he said the owner, I think it's the owner's life and business or the owner's business and life, something like that and I just went life and business and, and I had pinned in, in the Plus Your Life community his owner's life post. So it, we're all kind of moving in, in, in a space which is understanding that we are well, it's about relationships. I was going to say we're human-ish sometimes. But it's about relationships, whether it's business or whether it's in life. And it's yeah, relationships. Well, all connected somehow. All connected. Ways. Well, that's then the other bit. So we don't want to tell everyone what we're up to, but we have got a massive project that, that we're bringing. Yeah, the, the dots that you're connecting aren't just happening within business, but also no. within in story and life and, and yeah. everything. Yes, and I feel the last couple of days, I mean, there's it's been a lot of work done. It's exciting. I'm going to do the Brizzle speak now. I don't know what I'm going to do, but funny accents time. Um, thanks, Greg. The, it's, I, like, I like it here. I like being able to play. I like coming up with little crazy, wacky ideas. I like being able to, to push stuff out and see who wants in. And I'm going to do a post this afternoon, or being well, that's going to ask, do you want to opt into something? Again, I used to do this all the time. Most of you won't have seen it since the Jimmy Fallon campaign last year. Didn't get on that. But we had fun. Amy Harrison, we got it trending. We learned more about the algorithms. We bring people together, 200, 250 people. So we haven't done that for a while. I, mean, I haven't done it for a while because I've been trying to sort out business systems. Well, and again, Martin, we're going to, with this, it's not so, it's not, you're branching out with this. The the story, we're hoping, gets bigger. Absolutely. Right, so that's about Absolutely. Through, through and also, go and, yeah. plus your business, by opening it up, I don't know what you said there, go on, say it again. No, just just that it, it is to be opened up. The, the story is yeah. to unfold on, on this platform and other platforms, but this is the one that uh, is home for us. This is where the story starts. So It is. It is. It, and it's where, I'll, I'll tell you this interesting insight here. I'm going to come to the tip. Well, two bits. I'll tell you the insight in a second. Um, yeah, plus your business, but what we're doing is opening it up. So we're talking about plus your life, and we have a story, and we're going to open that up, and there's going to be a lot of crowdsourced stuff. But the plus your business, we're opening up. And the first way we're opening up is say we're going to do donation-based for something that gives people their own business or helps businesses get you know, more information that they need and so on. We're giving on just on donation. So that's the aim. And, and I know people to start with, it's great to see such a positive response because they, they know me by now. 
It's like everything's transparent, everything's open, it's the only way it can be. That will take a while to spread out. But if we give it available and you say, look, have your own business and we're structured and just go off and, and do it, we can sort out the monetization bit for us. As long as there's not some donations that keep things going, then that's great. So that's where we are opening up. It's how I'll tell you about a quick story and then the insight. I was at a conference, Infusionsoft conference, and a guy said two weeks ago, and a guy said on stage, What's the biggest problem that you've got that comes to mind at the moment? And I wrote, or biggest concern when you go to sleep, or something like that, and I wrote I, and I crossed it out, and put we are not helping enough people. That was it. And I probably should have put, ah, cash flow, or too much admin, whatever. And I didn't, it was that. We are not helping enough people. And that's the, the psychology we've got to get. For instance, with podcasting, you can have, I mean, Jeff Sear has, has got an amazing case study on, on, on how many people he's, he, he has downloading every day, his manly Pinterest tips, and, the, and it's really good. It's us lot, and I love you all, you know that, it's great. And I'm not going to say it, but because that's that's that it, I do. It's, it's great, and I lo and I love being here. And I love being in the flow with it. We do need to reach out and reach a lot more people. So the business model that we're testing on this may well allow us to get there. Okay, we're going to come to the tips literally in a sec. But let me just tell you one insight about Facebook stuff and why on Google Plus I like the system on Facebook. You can't do a notify by email thing. The only way is you have to tag people. You have to tag people and write their name or pencil in the face. Or you have to tag people on a photo to, for them to get a notification. Yes, for those that know me. Yes, this is what I'm doing. So the, over there, you've got a limited way. You can't, you have to publicly state who you are notifying. You have to put their names in there, which is a different psychology. You're calling them in, which means you can fail as well, which is another, another emotional aspect to it, because if they don't come and you just tag them in it, well, how do I, same thing over here on Google+. Plus. So one of the big things is being able to notify by email. Okay, you can click on the top, and you can see who was included in that circle that's notified. Fine, but I don't know how many people necessarily do that. It's different to tagging people. So realize that over here on Google+, Plus, we've got a tool that you don't have. You have the ability to build lists, on Facebook, like you have the to build circles, but you can't notify those lists as a list. Now, I was talking with Dr. Daz about this yesterday. He was checking that I knew, knew about the, the list side. And it's like this really useful thing, but we've got this superpower over here. Good. Used well, used carefully, notifying by email. Okay, Travis Taylor. Yes, sir. You, you ready for some, some tippage? Yeah. And Susan, and, and, uh, hi Susan, and Mary says, I like the fun part. We all like the fun part. And that's something, I like doing the fun part. I like being creative. I like bringing people together. That's cool. It's just, we've got we to we gotta keep things moving as well. All right. Well, speaking of keeping moving, tip one. Tip one. Everyone in level one, this is just standard advice. Don't rush to create a community. There's no need to rush to create a community. Better to understand the territories. So if you're in level one, then we've got some announcements for level one coming soon. But if you're in level one, hold off for the moment. Don't rush. Okay, that's tip two. Start to experiment. With this, there's a getting an eye in process around images. It's all, if you're not getting engagement, either you are you have the wrong people that circled you. And so they don't relate to your content, or your content isn't the right content for the people that have circled you. That might be exactly the same thing that I just said. Your content, it, it, with the engagement they get, is the evidence to it. So start to experiment on what people relate to. For you, okay. Tip three: Google.com's default is private. You know this well. If you're level three, personalized results. Um, really, it's private results. It, they're still personalized, even if you go to the global setting. But that single fact is not generally known in the wide world, everybody. So that's kind of been forgotten. So build your network and you begin to influence search results. Level four, don't waste an opportunity. Now this, if you're in level four, go back to the campaign videos and look at how much cutting up, slicing up of the contents happened. Take your time. Do not waste the content. Do do not have an opportunity to reamplify. Don't waste an opportunity to build a relationship. All of it will help you get 
the search results. And that's very much what you're doing at level four. Level five. This is one for all of us that have been around for a little while, and it's a reminder that it's being very open about it. If you stop replying to people's comments, then guess what? Eventually, they will stop making an effort with you too. So, and it's hard because your attention is often not on threads, which is why I want to get a hangout culture moving again, but we need to do certain things to get there. But that can be done with income mobile, which we'll be talking about, I'm sure, soon. Remember the structure, plus your life, plus your business, and income mobile over the top. So that's that's the content. Where are you, what's going on with you then, Travis? What are you up to? And then we're gonna to come to shout outs. And then I'm looking, hello to Bob and to Shell. What am I up to? Well, I'm I'm still moving my way through the Google Photography course. Um, I got a little sidetracked by uh, this gentleman by the name of Martin Shervington who came into town. So, uh, But we had some good storytelling that we'll be revealing later, so it was well worth it. And um, beyond that, I may be, I don't know what's going on yet, but speaking of local, um, there's a local group here in San Diego of businesses that are, uh, they do a local block party every month, and I may be broadcasting from there on Friday night. I'm not sure, but if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll send it out to you all. Good. Fantastic. Well, let me just come to, 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 to this comment. Now, Susan, so here's the thing. We've got in level two some super, super stuff. So I'm going to throw out a hypothetical thing to you all. And this isn't, this is just, this is an airing. We got some, con we got a lot of content. We've got an enormous amount of content. I've built content over about nine months. And everyone who's in the academy knows. Hypothetically, if there was a donation based method, and I'm going to encourage a monthly conception, a monthly donation based method that gave access to all of that and had community support and potentially events and other things going on, would that be of interest? And as so people who are watching, is just imagine, let's say level two content, for those that haven't gone in there or feel that they haven't been able to afford it, or imagine if there was a monthly method, for the first thing, but also that it was within your means you could kind of just say conceptually is that something that could be of interest let me know on the threads because this is us connecting having conversation this is not only a show this is about me reading and going okay well what can we what can we do together how can we make this work for everybody so cool Thomas we ought to probably jump to shout outs Let's do some shout outs. Do it. So if somebody could tag and say hello to everybody in the All right, yes. ready? Yes. Level one. So he's past the level one. Jeffrey Tobian or Tobian. So he's been active in the level one community and he's been asking what we're gonna do with the level one. So we're gonna basically gonna be announcing soon, which I can tell you. We're, we're trying to move things either into the private community, which we're going to come on and announce more about again, or into what called the main community with 16,000 people, so that the conversations can happen together. We've gone through the journey of, of all of the different levels, and even though the content is still very much there, we're looking at doing some reshaping around some of the communities. So. Tobian, thank you for your input and thanks for your engagement in the community. And uh, whichever which way, you're part of PYB, which is great. So thank you. Okay. Two. Matt Pentecost. He's a great guy. We haven't, we haven't spent enough time, Matt. But Matt's in level two. He's a cadet in level two. He's doing great. In fact, I think he's moving up to level three. Um, he's been around for a while. Super friendly guy. Very, very smart. And he's in communities around cleaning. So Chan Jeffries as well. And it's great to see pockets of industries coming together and learning from each other. So thanks for your contribution there. Pan got to hang out with yesterday, discussing his profile picture. He didn't change. He, he might have changed it now and got the old one. That's all. But um, Pan's super guy. Yorkshire. We were, we were talking about where we where we did in curry. It's always good, isn't it? Um, check him out. Very friendly. He's been around since Beta, and. I know he's, he said very positive things about what we're doing with PYB. He's finding that the, the structure's working. So I really appreciate you being there, Pam. So thank you. And number four, Torsten Robots. 
wanted to feature. I haven't seen you for a while, but I know that you're in level four, and I know that you're exploring. And the good, great thing that you guys are doing, you and your brother Peter, is seeing what works. You're doing the experimentation, and you are shaping the content based upon the network, and you're making it work for the page, which is awesome. So you're getting really, really good engagement. Big thing, as we talk about in level three, big shakedown. Big shakedown in honesty in level three and, and in and level four. You've got to make sure your social activity is generating new results. You have to track it. You have to find ways. I'll give you the ways. You know, we've got it on the website. You can ask in, in the main community. But you've got your URL shorteners in order to know how many people click the link. If you're going through the site, you want to be tracking your search results. You want to be going after search results. And this is what we're doing level four. But you have to honest. You have to be honest about whether it's working. And if it's not, you change direction. Um, one of the great things about being part of a community is that you can have those conversations. And it's, you're not on your own. It's not like that. It's lovely to see lots of people joining Plus Your Business, the, the main community, coming in today. Uh, I'm glad the level four people are sharing their content in that's quality content because it serves the community. So, so thank you to Melinda and thank you to Nick in particular. And Janine, you ask great questions, so always, always aren't. You know, the community is there for you. You know, leverage it. As I said we tend to encourage people level four to be sharing content in. Before that, sometimes I had to remove a couple of posts. Sorry today, I had to remove a couple of posts of people's because it doesn't add value. When you've been around for a while, you've got to look at where things are at. You've got to you've got to make it about them, not make it about you and the stuff that you're trying to push in. And the more you have a relationship with the moderators and with me. The more the decisions change, there's no point denying that. Every moderator would say, if you see somebody, you think, do you know what, they're awesome, and then you look at their post, you go, mm, not sure. It influences if you think they're awesome, and you've had lovely, lovely exchanges, and you go, okay, well, just leave that post then. If you don't know the person, and it's a little bit, then you tend to remove it. It's the way it goes, and you may as well know that that's the way it goes, because then it explains why your content isn't staying in communities. They, they, they are, the, they're not. An individual's community. You also, you, that content goes into people's streams. You, you've got to think. You've got to think about how this flows. So there's a, they've already been around. The community's been going for well, that's, it's almost two years now. PYB in May. So it has a thing. The people that have the content on in the streams, they expect to see certain things. So it's not this. You can't just press content in. I think I've said that before. Okay. So I feel disappointed at the total lack of beard comments on the thread. It's now old hat, I can tell, and it's just not as impressive as Travis's. I get it. Uh, there, it, it, it needs to. It looks the same as it did last week. So just it, give it I a few more it, weeks. I it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's just say thank you to this. Thank you for to Mary. Thanks. That Mary's been awesome on doing events and so much support and everything. I know many of you. Yeah, she has. And thanks to Pam. We're in the last couple of minutes. And it's great, and this is the thing we got. Let's just put that up again for a sec. The culture we've got going on is, is lovely. It's, we we have to help more people. So the last bit, if somebody could drop in again, the local, if you might be local consultant link, which is on my profile, donation based, share it. Let people know we're going to help people on the basis that they choose to be able to have a business within their area. It's really kind of, it's different. I like different. So if you've got, if you know anybody, I'm going to put it, I haven't put it out to my email list yet. I'm going to wait probably until Saturday and it starts on Monday. But the event's not until Tuesday. Got time. But if you know anyone, just share. Just let them know. And I say, and, it, and it's a bit of a culture shift. This is a bit of a culture shift for everybody. And the reason we've got the front end of the show, connecting the dots, everything. We've got different music. We're going to be having that on the videos now for the front show. Thanks, Nikki, for noticing the tan. This is very good. And as Susan Anderson said, thank you. This is what we're doing is we're moving forward. And I've just got to make the best decisions I can. And it feels good to be pushing on every day. There we have it, everybody. Thank you so much to Travis Taylor. Thank you to uh, Roxanne for your comments as well. Everyone is on moving on up. And that's it. So you're going to see waves of change over the next couple of weeks. 
But it's going to be down to you. It's going to be down to the evidence of whether people donate, whether they want to donate, what happens next. So it is it's a community-based business. Let's see how we go. Take care. See you next time.